Hey, what's up, Unstopplepreneurs? Tyler here, and in this video, I want to talk a little bit about a story you've probably already heard, and it's the story about being three feet from gold. And let's just dive in, because this story has really impacted me. You, you've probably read about it um, in different books, like I think Napoleon Hill was one of the first that launched about three feet from gold. So why does that story matter, and how does it apply to you so that you can actually attain your goals faster? Well, let's dive in. So the story goes, and, and this is my version, so I'm just gonna share it how I think it is, is there's this guy back, and he, he's like in, in uh, Florida area, and he hears about the gold rush in California. He's like, yes, like I gotta go get this, this gold. So he goes over there and he finds a, a little speck of gold, and he's like, there's gold here. He, so he gets a little taste, right? And he experiences this taste of joy, and he knows that there's gold here. So his mind starts turning as an entrepreneur. He's like, hey, if I bring up all my family, all of my friends, and we get all the fancy equipment, and we go out and we're just gonna find as much gold as possible. So he does, he, he brings up all his family, all his friends, he gets the best equipment out there. So he is now ready to go get the gold, right? So he's out there digging. And him and his family and his friends, they're digging and digging and digging and digging and digging. And as they start digging, what happens is, is he's digging and digging and digging and days go by. And there's nothing. There's no more gold. And he's starting to worry because days turn into weeks. And he's getting really worried now. You know, he only has so many resources to tap into. Weeks turn into months. And these months continue to drag on, no results. He's going and he's digging and digging and I'm sure in his mind he's just, all the negative doubts, this, like this wasn't worth it, you're stupid for doing this, you, you shouldn't have done this, now you're gonna have nothing, you're gonna have to start over from scratch, why are you doing this? And all these voices in the head. And eventually all the funds run out after he spent months and months and months and all the people's hopes are are given up and he's probably got so much opposition people hate him now and he decides to quit to give up so what does he do he gives his fancy tools that he spent so much time and energy with and he sells them down to for pennies on the dollar to a pawn broker down the road so this and he goes back home so this pawn man, he realizes what he's been given. He sees all these amazing tools to mine for gold. And he thinks, wow, like I'm on a, this is like amazing. I could go find gold, right? But being an intelligent human being, he thinks, well, I don't really know anything about gold. So I'm going to hire someone who knows the lay of the land and help me figure out where I need to dig so that my time is used wisely. So he goes and invests in a person who can help facilitate and figure out the lay of the land and knows more about gold than he does. So he hires this gentleman and he goes and he, he goes back to this previous place where this person from Florida, the, you know, the original digger was. And he sees where he was digging and he's measuring and doing all these calculations with all these cool tools. And he finds that three feet up, three feet, three feet from where he was digging, three feet is actually this fault line. And this fault line is where traditionally the gold flows. And so he says, well, actually, I think the gold is here, but it's three feet from where they were digging. So this gentleman, he digs three feet up and he hits gold and he finds tons of gold. And he realizes, he's like, oh my goodness, and he's rich, right? He just hits it. And I think on this story, and I look back, and I see this, this person, there's three people who are involved in this. Now, actually, like four. First off, the entrepreneur, the person on the journey, you and me, right? And we're on this journey to go hit gold, to go strike it rich, to go have health and find the wealth and create the family and have spirituality and have it all, right? And so that's one person. The second person is we also have all the people that 
we incorporate into our world to help us on this journey. So that's the second type of group of people. The third person is the person who is pawned off to. So the person pawns off, right? And that represents someone else who is at the right time at the right place, who's in alignment, is given the opportunity and acts on the opportunity. And he says, yes, I wanna buy your tools in order to go succeed. And the fourth person here, the fourth group of purple is the coach, the mentor, the person who knows the lay of the land, who knows about health or wealth or family or connection or whatever it might be. This person represented the gold, right? He knew the gold. And too often in life, we're more like just the first person. We as a solopreneur, we're gonna go and dig our way through, we're gonna take what we know, we're gonna go invest a lot of stuff, but then we don't hire people who know the lay of the land. We give up, we quit, and we go back to the old ways. Or we can choose to be like the third person, which is someone who is given an opportunity and acts on that opportunity and then hires someone who knows the path, right? And as we do that, you might just be three feet from gold. You probably have tried everything. You probably dug for years to try to shift and change and create what you want, but you might be closer than you think. You might be so close, three feet. Don't quit. Don't give up. Your goal might just be three feet away. Learn what you need to learn. Hire who you need to hire. Do what it takes so that you don't end up like the first person and give up and miss out on years of work and effort. And you can put that knowledge into use by hiring a coach, purchasing whatever you need to purchase, follow the lay of the land so that you can actually attain your goals in days instead of years. Next time something comes along, I want you to remember the power of this story, three feet from gold. Ask yourself, maybe I'm just three feet from gold. When you're struggling, maybe you're just three feet from gold. Ask, who do you need to talk to to find those three feet? Who do you need to connect with? Who do you need to hire? Who do you need to follow? Who, not how. Ask who. Someone out there knows where that gold is. All you do is need to ask who. Thanks for joining me today. Go out, ask who, connect with that who, and be able to find that information so you can find your gold that might just be three feet away.